UCSG is taking down hundreds of eucalyptus trees in a student housing area, saying they can be dangerous if they fall. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan, in for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Some students are now concerned about the loss of all that shade. CBS Ed's Brian White is working for you tonight to find out what the university's plan is. Yeah, I was out here a year ago when students contacted us about the dangers of falling tree limbs. And now a year later, the school is actually removing all of the eucalyptus trees in the area here. But without any plans to replant more trees to take their place, some students are not happy about it. Crews hard at work cutting and dismantling these giant eucalyptus trees in and around the Mesa student housing complex. So right here we have a few of the trees that have been cut down just last week. Around here, tree limbs are known to fall periodically, sometimes destroying cars. And just a month ago, one fell on an apartment. Luckily, no one was hurt. I heard how like a big branch fell on top of, a, of the apartment that was right behind, and I actually got to see what happened. I reached out to UCSD, and they told me they're removing 250 eucalyptus trees that were identified as having the most risk. I mean, I don't think it merits taking all of the trees out. It will make such a big difference uh, in our everyday lives not to have trees around. Anna Lopez is a sociology PhD student who's lived here three years. She thinks keeping some trees would be better than removing all of them. The trees have been fundamental to give us shade, just make this like a cooler, easier to live place. UCSD tells me the work started last week and should go for a couple months. If a tree's size and fall radius could hit a building, car, or playground, then it will be cut down. But students here want to see other trees planted in their place. Without the trees, it will be kind of living like in a desert. The university tells me they have plans to demolish and redevelop the entire central and south Mesa housing areas in the coming years, at which point new landscaping and trees will be added, but not before then. The time to plant trees is now, and they're going to wait till they redevelop, which to me is unacceptable, especially given that we're experiencing such harsh changes in weather and climate issues. At UCSD, working for you, Brian White, CBS 8.